I do feel like I've changed inside from this visit. I feel that if I went back to America right now, I would always want to come back to, to Russia because I feel like Russia's home. So right now we have crossed into the Donbass, which just came through border control. I love you, Donbass. On national television in America, Donetsk looks like uh, a small town. Nobody lives here. And this, this is massive. This is a huge, beautiful city. Everything changed. And then all of a sudden, every American, because they didn't know anything about Ukraine, couldn't point it out on a map, started hanging up Ukrainian flags. Upside down, of course, because they don't know which way is up and which way is down. They don't know anything about Ukraine. They were just told that this is what you have to buy into now. This is the new agenda. Это прямое попадание 155-м гаубичным снарядом. Это либо три семерки, либо Цезарь. This is my government's doing. But nobody's saying anything back home. I know, it's, I know, but still, you know, you feel responsible as an American. Меня поражала его реакция на все происходящее здесь. Глаза по 5 копеек, он видит прилет прямо посреди дороги. Он видит, как мимо прилета проезжает маршрутка, он видит автобусную остановку, видит жилое здание, которое повыносило стекла, и он начал меняться в лице. Но у него ужас смешался с отвращением. Why did I want to come here? To here? To pray? What shall I pray for our safety, our safe return for the people of the Donbass, for the people of Russia? I pray that they're always healthy, and I pray that victory comes soon, and I, I believe it will. And they will win.